Hello everybody, my name is Nayeli. Welcome back to my channel. This is video number one from my mini DIY series. Um, this is a fall DIY, super easy and super, super inexpensive. So we're going to use one of these floral wreaths that you can find at the Dollar Tree. I already had mine in my stash. You're going to need a box cutter, a knife, exacto knife, whatever you guys have, just to cut this right down the middle. It's super easy to cut it and it does not have to be perfect. And here I'm just showing you that mine is not perfect at all. Some of the edges are smashed, it is broken on the top, it does not matter because you're going to glue some cardboard on there on the front and the back. I found this 9 foot a roll of ribbon at the Dollar Tree. This is the burlap ribbon. I think it is so cute, it's so perfect for all of you farmhouse lovers. So I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue so we can attach the end of the ribbon. And we're just going to wrap all of the wreath with this ribbon. And you're going to want to pull it snug um, so it doesn't move around and you don't have to use a bunch of hot glue. And you're going to want to pull it as tight as you think you can. Just um, tightly, but don't break it or smash it. I think I used about like four or five dots of glue uh, during the whole process. And here I'm just going to glue the other end of the ribbon to the wreath. And I just think it looks so, so cute all wrapped in this ribbon. Now putting that aside, I'm going to show you this maple leaf template that I got off of Google a uh, just type maple leaf template and we're gonna use this small one not the big one it's way too big but the small one we're just gonna cut that out or rough cut it and we're gonna use um, a piece of cardboard so we can cut our template out and some double-sided tape. Okay, the double-sided tape is just uh, for the paper to not move while we're trying to cut it. And I thought it was super easy to cut this because it has a bunch of straight lines. It's not as difficult as I thought it was. I'm not a person that loves fussy cutting, so. But this was a easy um, little template to cut. Now here's our little template that we can trace onto our pretty paper whatever paper you decide to use I'm gonna use this one that looks like um I don't know it looks like it's a weaved basket or a weaved carpet something like that I'm not sure what it actually is so just tracing it and you're gonna cut as many as you think you're gonna need I don't even know how many I used 
Um, and I also cut some of these gold ones out from the glitter sticker paper that you can find at the Dollar Tree. Uh, it is by Jot, and it has three, and here in this pack, it has a blue, a purple, and a pink, or a gold, I'm not sure. But I used the gold from another paper pack. And there's also that pretty orange, copperish sort of uh, paper, but I chose the gold. Gold is my favorite metallic color. So you're going to want to choose which one is your back and which one is your front. And we're going to start seeing where we're going to place our leaves. If you want them inwards or facing outwards, whatever you choose is just perfect. And I chose just to put a little dot of glue in the middle of the leaf. And I'm going to try to do a brown, gold, brown, gold uh, sort of pattern. But in a little bit, you're going to see that two of my brown leaves uh, are together, which is perfectly fine. I mean, it does not have to be perfect. And I thought it came out so pretty. You won't even notice two browns or two golds are together. So in between those two browns, I'm going to put, not in between, on top of the two browns, I'm going to put a gold one, which looks super cute because it looks so cute when it's layered. So here I'm still layering some of the leaves. Now. I'm going to take this brown one and I'm going to glue it going inwards just for a different um, leaf going an opposite way. And I'm also going to take the gold one and put that one inwards. I just think those two look so cute going inwards. Now if you feel that you need more, you can put more, you can put less. So I'm deciding to put some more on here. Um, I had some extra, that's why I'm telling you to cut um, as many as you think you're going to use. Um, but if you have extra, you can obviously uh, put some more on there or if you don't want to, just save it for a different project. None of these leaves are going to go to waste.
and as you can tell I did take one of the brown ones off that was going inwards and I decided to put another gold one on but here I'm deciding to put another brown one on um, I don't know I think it, it, it needed a brown one going inwards It looks super, super cute, you guys. And I think it's so shiny, so pretty with those gold leaves. Just trying to take some of the glue strings off. And here I'm just showing you that I'm going to put a little bit of this twine on there. I got mine at the Dollar General. Wherever you guys got yours, it's okay. Um, or if you want to use some rope to make this little bow. And I am not uh, <laughs> very good at making bows. So I'm just going to make a little simple one. And you do want to pull it tight so it doesn't come loose. And here I'm going to cut the two ends at the same length. So it looks pretty. And I'm going to decide where I think it leads, uh, needs a little bit more um, leaf or something. So right there is where I'm going to put my little thin bow with just a little dot of hot glue. Just trying to make it uh, look a little bit straight and I love it. And here's our final product you guys. I am in love with this little wreath. I think it is so cute with the gold and the brown weaved pattern on the other leaf. I am in love. I hope I inspired you guys. And here on the side, I'm just showing you that you can see the burlap ribbon, which makes it all look so much cuter and finished. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching this video. I hope you decided to join our YouTube family by subscribing. Also, click the little notification bell so you can get notified of every video I upload. And giving me a big thumbs up. I would love it. And you guys have a great rest of your day. And keep an eye out for those other DIY videos.